I read everything you wrote, and I made a response video that could both you go check out what you wrote. 90% of what you said was totally true. And, I don't know, regardless of whatever you do with your future, like, quite frankly, my life is really messed up right now, so it's, like, selfish for me to ask you to be a part of that regardless. Um, but um, whatever you do from here, it's, like, whatever. I I admit, like, all the guilt and everything that I've... I, I jumped into something that I didn't fully understand. And you were there with me, and you took the steps with me, but the reality is, is I... I led the way into the darkness or whatever. So, I'm so incredibly sorry for everything. Like, I'm being so cliche. And, yeah, I understand. Like, whatever you do, I understand. It, the first step to improving yourself is realizing that you are the problem. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So I think I'm going to leave you alone. I'm sorry. Hey, I just wanted to share a really awesome story, something crazy I just went through. Um, and I'm calling you because, um, honestly, the only other person I talk to won't, uh, is, is at school right now. Um, that, and I already told Sierra and Stefan, and they're like my other closest friend. I know it's pathetic, whatever. Um, but uh, I was just uh, talking to Shiloh on the phone because Shiloh's been telling me that she's been pregnant, like, for four months now. And she sent me a picture of her pushing out her belly saying that she was pregnant. So I figured this would be bold enough for you, but... Um, anyway, so she was saying that she was going to get documents me proving that she was pregnant. And, dude, this is so funny. Okay, so Sierra comes in, and he's like, well, why don't you just have her take a pregnancy test? And I'm like sitting there going, why don't I have her take a pregnancy test? I'm like, I'm going to, okay, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have her pee on a stick in front of me on Skype, and that way there's no fooling around, and she proves that she's pregnant, and then we can go to step B or whatever, like where I step in as a good father and all that stuff. So I call her up, and I go, um hey, why don't you take pregnancy tests on Skype in front of me? And then, you know, then you prove that you're pregnant and I'll um, be forced to step up. That's that's the deal. And she's like, she's like, oh, but pregnancy tests only work for so long. I'm like, oh. And she's like, yeah. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. So then I got off the phone and I, I looked it up on Google and they never expire. They're like, oh, they always work. Because they only, they only check how much of something is in your system, like BHT or BPT or something like that. Anyway, so I called her back, and I said, well, actually, it never expires, so you can go ahead and do that. And she's like, well, the documents aren't good enough. Um, I need to prove it. Like, I need, to, I need to pee on a stick in front of you. I'm like, yeah, and then you'll know for sure. She's like, well, I'm not going to do that. So, <laughs> and then I was like, victory! She doesn't want to do it, which means she's not pregnant, because before she said she would do it. She's like, but, if, I mean, if it did, I mean, I could still do it, even though it doesn't work. I'm like, oh, no, it's okay, like, before I hung up the phone. So she said that she would do it before, and then when I called her back and said it actually worked, she didn't want to do it anymore. That's victory. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, yeah, I should definitely stop calling you, though. I'm sorry. I just wanted to share that story with you because I thought you would be, like, I think it was funny. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm not a daddy. Yay. I'm also getting a fertility test coming up because I'm pretty sure I'm incapable. But anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, you cut me off. Um, as I was saying, I haven't attempted to get a refund or anything. Um, I'm basically putting it online. If you don't do it, I'm not going to be upset. I'm going to understand. Um, but if you do it, you're going to blow my mind. Like, literally blow my mind. And, like, I'll do what it takes to make everything work out, whether it be counseling for me or whatever. Um, I, I was recently informed that I have borderline personality disorder where I, I take things to extremes. And if you're not my way, then you're wrong, or something like that. Like, it's just, there's a bunch of shit. And when I look at you, I think of a person who has things in control mentally. Like, I have everything in control in my life, except for my emotions, you know, except for my relationships. And if I can get that in control, then I think we're actually a really good pair. I really do. And the reason is, is because of how happy I am around you, and how complete I feel. And there's only you. Like, Sky is my friend. I've been talking to her as a friend. I told you she's always been my friend. So if I don't have you, then I guess I'll be single for a very long time. Regardless, thank you for the time that you did give me. I really appreciate it. And if this is it, okay. Um, I might call again or something because I want to talk to you, but 
I understand if you don't answer. It's just kind of a bummer. I'm getting my stuff together. And now it's over. But yeah, I get it. So, talk to you later, hopefully. Bye. Hey. I... I was going to say, Call of Duty is like playing the lottery. You don't think you're ever going to win, but you sure hope so. Um, problem is, I've turned into a stalker, so I'm going to stop now. It's going to be cute, make noises, make you smile, make everything seem okay. But the bottom line is, all I'm going to be doing now is waiting for your call. Hoping, well, I mean, i got to edit and live my life and all that stuff, but I will have my phone by me. Um, it's your choice, buddy. I'm here. I'm queer, and I don't drink beer. Woo! Sure. I need to stop, though because I don't want to turn into total, total, total creep. Okay. So believe me or not, I want to work everything out, but that's okay if you don't want to. I understand. It could be beautiful. It could be amazing. It could be so gorgeous. All the Star Trek and, and the, the, the video games with flashing lights and the, 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 I don't know, dorky music that is stupid and hilarious and that gets jazz even. But you don't believe in me anymore. So, and just so you know, everything I said publicly, there were never attacks on you. I was just living my life. Like, it's kind of like how you were just living your life when you said the thing about sensual massage. You're just, you're just being you. And I felt offended like it was an attack or some kind of, like, horrible insult or something. We're reading the same book here. Same book. Different perspectives. We can work this out, but if you don't want to, I understand. I gotta stop being a stalker now because I do not want to be shallow. So, call me, or not, or live your life, or be free, be whatever you want. I'm not here to judge you, or control you, or do anything ever again. If I do, I need to sit in the council's office until I figure my problems out. I promise. A big prom big super promise. This is a guy saying, I'm dedicating myself to making you happy. If you don't want that, you don't believe in me. Okay. That's that. That's okay. And Sky is my friend, so just so you know, she's in my life. She's my friend. Because she's cool and she's helping me through all this. So, bye-bye. Hey, um, I really wish, like, the more I'm looking at the borderline personality disorder, I'm really wishing that I knew I had a problem with this before I ever even got into anything with you, just so I could, like, forewarn you and actively work on it during the relationship and actually give myself the appropriate amount of doubt. Because this entire time I've been looking at myself going, oh, she's wrong, and oh, I know everything about what I'm talking about, and oh, I'm a perfectly sane human being, when I'm looking at all these definitions, and it's like, I wasn't sane at all. I had a serious problem. I still have this serious problem. And I don't know, I, this is me just telling you, like, if you don't want to get on the plane, I totally understand, because I have a lot of work to do on myself, and if you don't want to be there with me through all that, that's fine. Wait for me to get better. Um, I mean, if I'm still... I'm still feeling the same way about you in the future, like, and we can always figure something else out for later on down the line. It doesn't need to be rushed. I don't know. I was busy blaming you for a lot of stuff that is all my fault. Anyway, I just really hope you don't feel any remorse for anything that you did, really. I pushed so hard that anything you did in reaction really can't be held against you. So I'm sorry. And I'm working on myself. I'm really looking, researching this. If you could actually help me, that'd be good. But you don't want to talk to me, so. Which is why I should definitely stop calling now. Okay. Definitely.
Okay, so this is what's throwing me. Um, I keep thinking back to the hotel and back to our Skype conversations, and I'm stuck in that rut that a lot of people are where when they get out of a relationship, all I remember is good, 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 good. And I think it's especially because I feel like I'm at fault is that it's hard for me. Like, I think that you have it easy because I've admitted all my guilt. And, I mean, easy to an extent that on the emotional level, not on your situation, because I'm sure your situation isn't perfect in other areas. But you know that I, I'm wrong in so many areas, and because of that, you can so easily move on. And yet, I'm stuck with this, I was wrong, and I feel like a piece of crap. I just want to make everything right. You know? So I hope that on a human level, you can sympathize with me. You know, just talk to me regular and realize that's what's going on in my mind. So I guess I'll just feel guilty forever. And that's how it has to be. Um, so, I don't know. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey. Um, I'm not sure why I'm leaving a message this time. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, remember when you were calling me earlier and you're like, I'm using every media outlet to contact you. I'm like trying everything. I'm begging for you to come back to me and all this stuff. It's like, I'm like that, but like an elongated version. Like you're not giving me the mercy I, that I gave. And so I'm stuck in limbo. This sucks, dude. Like, okay, do me a favor. Please at least in some way write me saying no. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to take you not responding as a no. So if you get on that plane, which I doubt you're going to, but hey, maybe you're crazy enough to do it, then awesome. But if not, I'm going to leave it alone now. I'm actually going to watch it to save my phone because you could call. I'm going to control myself, and I will leave it alone now. Hopefully I have entertained you, and hopefully you are having a good night. Goodbye. I took the fall for everything in my videos. And now I'm getting nothing but crap about it. I made a 20 minute video defending myself. Because there's things that you said that needed to be clarified. Except I stopped fighting because I didn't want you to be hurt anymore. I didn't want people to attack you anymore. And now I'm on the receiving end of so much criticism. I'm losing subscribers and likes like crazy. I'm asking you for mercy. Did I sacrifice myself for nothing? You talk about love if you know what it is. I would never do this to someone I loved. I've given everything that I could to play the nice guy, to be a good person. Nothing's coming back to me. And I guess that's how it has to be. Because that's what it means when I say I hope you live a long and happy life means I'm going to do what I can to make that happen. And that means taking the fall for everything. And not arguing with the single thing that you said about me. I hope you give me a chance, but if you don't, okay. I'm still sorry for everything. And I still love you. I wish you would have some urge to say the same, but I'm left in the cold darkness, completely alone. Goodbye. 
I have no idea how you can be doing this to me and feel no remorse for it. I'm completely oblivious to how you can live with this. I have no idea. You completely ignore me. I should do nothing but support you and say, look at her side of the story and everyone pay attention and you ignore me. How can you do this to another human being? I just don't understand. Just so you know, because of what you've done, because of the way you've slandered me, because of the lies you've told, because of the fact that you've completely ignored me and you've completely humiliated me publicly, and despite the fact that I was being kind about everything and saying, okay, fine, I'm not going to attack someone I love and I'm not going to fight back even though she's clearly attacking me and I was hoping that you would actually answer your phone and deal with me like a human being. Because of all this, I'm going to reveal every single detail. Every detail, and then everyone will know exactly who you are. You want to slander me, well, I'm going to fight you with the truth, and the truth is not going to feel good. Goodbye. What happened? Uh, message me on Facebook. I think your phone died. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Bye-bye. This is your 16th voicemail. Hey, Onision, will you fuck me now? Uh, the person who sent me this video is, is Onision can suck my ass. You can check his link down below. You can also check the link to Adrian's YouTube. If you want to go there and apologize to her uh, for any mean comments that you might have left her before, this is the time. Uh, you need to understand that there's two sides of a story, and um, this is Adrian's side. Have a good one.